jump out early in this one. Todd Gurley making it 20 to 7 with a 35 yard run. He and CJ Anderson both had over 100 yards rushing on Saturday. Cowboys hung around, at least they tried to, with a little over two minutes left to play. Dak Prescott runs in for the score. That cuts the lead to eight. But the Rams wouldn't give the ball back. Jared Goff picks up the third and seven with his legs. That would seal it. Rams win 30 to 22. Here's Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott after the loss. It's been a great season, obviously, just uh, all the ups, all the downs. The team that we had are three and five and being counted out. Uh, by everyone, but uh, backs against the wall mentality, the way we were able to fight uh, just to get to where we are right now uh, is inspiring and incredible. All the men uh, on this team, uh, I'm proud of this team, but uh, anytime you lose, uh, especially when you know the team that we have and as close as, as, as close as we felt we were. What's it feel like to win a playoff game? Feels good. Besides that. Feels good. Really good? Real, real, real good. <laughs> Great, actually. Okay. But it's a we still got one more. Keep winning, we gotta keep winning. Lights must have been really bright in there just for the for his retinas, just to make sure that. CC, so what was the key, do you think, for the in, the in the Rams win over the Cowboys? Up front, man, their overall philosophy, they were going to get back. It was nice to see Todd Gurley was healthy, but even beyond that, with CJ Anderson being added to their roster, you don't think that they're going to take advantage of that and be able to run on the Cowboys. We haven't seen anybody run on the Cowboys like that this year. And up front, there were several teams that really transformed their season by getting away from having a bad offensive line. Seattle, um, the Colts, and the L.A. Rams. In the last two years, all these teams have revamped their offensive line, have a, a different attitude in the offensive line. The Rams' offensive line started all the games last year and started every game this season. So their overall continuity coming into this game um, healthy. Andrew Whitworth, the left tackle led by them, that rushing attack was phenomenal. And when you can play that physical in a playoff game, it makes the game so much easier for the quarterback. We saw that in the Kansas City game. We saw that in this game where you're not relying on the quarterback to try to lead you to win. It was an old style football that we hadn't seen all season. It was nice that the Rams were able to adopt that for this playoff win. And you mentioned when we were talking about the Chiefs that if you'd have looked at, told you Pat Mahomes sat line before and you said the Chiefs would lose. Well, if you told me before the game, Dak was gonna throw for 266, no picks, a 99 rating, and Goff was gonna throw for 180 and a 74 rating, I said, oh, this worked out perfectly for the Cowboys. They must have been getting pressure to golf. They were, mm -hmm. no, they didn't. They didn't get pressure to golf at all. I thought the one thing we knew was that against this bad Rams rush defense, Zeke, Zeke would have a big day. Up. Zeke got shut down. 20 carries for 47 yards, one big run the entire football game. And what the Rams were able to do to just amplify C's point, the Cowboys all year, had allowed four guys to rush for 70 yards. That's amazing. The Rams had two guys in the first half mm -hmm. go for 70 yards. C.J. Anderson, after the game, he had a funny quote. He said, listen, I'm just a fat kid finding the right hole to run through. But he was another Gruden cast off, by the way. He, he was enormous early in this football game to where they didn't have to use Todd Gurley that much. And they took control. And the Cowboys, we just showed the highlight. Man, their identity, we're going to be tough, we're going to be physical, fourth and one, run it right at them. That was an enormous play in that football game where the Rams got off the field and allowed them to extend that lead. We talked about how the only path to victory for the Cowboys was going to be short, Zeke runs, and then other things have to happen. It was just assumed that Zeke was going to get his carries and get his yardage, especially against this run defense. But I know you touched on it. What was it that, that really kept him from being able to be successful? You could see in the playoffs that the teams that had the bye, they did a great job of self-scouting themselves. What, have, what haven't they done well? What do they do well in trying to come up with the game plan? All the teams that had to buy came up with a, a substantial game plan to be able to. You know something? I was not great at this. And the Rams, and Dominican Sue in particular, was phenomenal in this game. Yeah. And it won't be by stats. You have to watch the game. He changed the line of scrimmage. He destroyed the center and the guards, and then Aaron Donald when he could, because they had a heavy concentrating of trying to double him. So interior-wise, they dominated the Cowboys. The Cowboys' offensive line, typically, we have not had question marks about them, but you left this game knowing that they had been, um, the, the physical part of the game, they had lost that to the Rams. So that was the best part of the Rams having to buy, Wade Phillips self-scouting himself because they don't have great linebackers. 
So you would think that the Cowboys were going to run on them. They weren't because of that front took control. They took it upon themselves and said, the Cowboys are not going to run on us. And that was one of the themes with some of these bad defenses, especially run defense that we saw with the Rams and the Chiefs. The things that even when the Cowboys weren't playing well early in the year were most reliable about this team, Zeke's production and their front seven defensively are the two things that let them down in this game. Their front seven couldn't stop the run and couldn't get any pressure whatsoever. Goff sacked zero times, only hit once the entire game. We've talked about how he was the 28th ranked quarterback in the league when pressured. They couldn't get that pressure. They couldn't establish their line of scrimmage. And so if you'd have told me they were gonna lose this game decisively, and they did, they were down 50, they were down two scores a lot of the game, I'd have said uh, Dak didn't play well. Dak played fine. Dak played well enough to get another playoff win the rest of the team team did not do what they had been relying on them to do throughout the season. All right, let's take a break there. Coming up, how are the Saints able to pull off the comeback? That's next on First Things First.